Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my wash day routine with the Gina Curl. It was about 6.30 in the morning and I was exhausted, so please don't mind my face. But as you can tell, my hair is super dry and is in dire need of some moisture. I haven't washed it in about 10 days and I've just been wearing it in a bun. Please don't be like me and go this long without washing your hair. You're supposed to wash it two times a week, but my schedule has been hectic lately. But yeah, today I'm just going to show you how I wash my hair from start to finish. Before anything else, the first thing that I like to do is rinse my hair thoroughly with water. Once I feel like it has enough slip with the water, I then like to go in and finger detangle. The method I use is just separating my hair from the roots. It's kind of hard to explain, but my roots are what tends to get tangled the most, so I do this to kind of spread them apart and loosen them up. I'm super gentle with doing this, and I really take my time, guys. I used to always finger detangle when I was natural, but it started to take way too long as my hair got longer. Plus, I noticed that after the shower, my hair still has some tangles, so I started incorporating brushes and combs into my routine. But now it's easier for me to finger detangle with the Gina Curl, so I just make sure that I am thorough and gentle when doing it. After a week, you have a lot of shed hair, and you don't want that to get tangled with the non-shed hair, because then you can get tangles and knots, and your hair will break off. So you want to be gentle with that. After soaking my hair, I then like to go in and add some conditioner. All of the products that I use will be in the description box. The conditioner that I'm using today is Aussie Miracle Moist. I like to do the conditioner shampoo conditioner method when I wash my hair because I feel like it keeps my hair moisturized. For people who don't know what that method is, it basically just means that I first go in with a regular conditioner, then I use a shampoo, then I follow that with a deep conditioner at the end. And I like this method because shampoo tends to strip your hair, so I like to add moisture both before and after using it. Plus, using conditioner before anything else helps with the detangling process. Next, I like to split my hair down the middle, then split each half into two sections and pin them up with the hair clip. Then I like to go in and finger detangle my hair some more before using a paddle brush to make sure there are no lingering tangles or knots. I do this while I still have the conditioner in. I use a lot of conditioner, y'all. I add some more as I finger detangle and brush each section. I always have used a lot of conditioner, so this is nothing new to me. That's why I love the big bottle of Aussie because it's a lot of product, it's pretty cheap, and it has a ton of slip. But yeah, I always start detangling at the ends and make my way up to the roots. If you saw my straight to curly hair routine video, I mentioned how I don't really like to use combs. I like to use brushes to detangle my hair because I feel like the brush really smooths out those tangles, whereas I feel like combs just kind of tug and pull on them. That's just my personal experience, but if you like combs and you feel like they work for your hair, by all means continue to use them because everyone's hair is different, obviously. I'm going to go on a little tangent real quick, but I used to use Aussie Moist on my natural hair, but I had to stop because something weird started going on. I used to be in the shower for hours washing my natural hair, and after about two and a half, three hours, I would just start sneezing and sneezing real bad, y'all, like with this conditioner in my hair, and I don't know why. And my friend said she actually experienced the same thing whenever she was in the shower for a super long time. It was really strange. I think it might have been the fragrance getting to me after a while or something. But I was upset because I had to stop using it even though it was my favorite conditioner. But now that I don't spend as much time in the shower, I decided to go back to using it and it has been working great for me. And sorry if you see me bending down a lot. All of my products are on the floor so I'm just reaching down to get them. But anyways, yeah, I do the same thing with all four sections, add more conditioner, finger detangle, then go in with the brush. I just pin up each section after I'm finished. The back sections were giving me a hard time today. Obviously, that was my fault for letting my hair get dry, so I just spent some extra time detangling. But luckily, the other sections weren't as bad. When my hair is being difficult, sometimes within the four sections, I like to make smaller sections so that it's easier to detangle. So once I do all of that, I like to rinse the conditioner out. I'm not really thorough with this part because I do like to leave a tiny bit of conditioner in my hair while I wash it. This is how much shedding I got from finger detangling all four sections. And I know I'm not the only one that likes to make a little collage on my bathroom wall of all the shed hair. After the conditioner, I like to go in with my favorite shampoo, which is the Pantene Gold Series Sulfate Free Shampoo. I used this when I was natural and I love it so much. The formulas in this collection were created by black scientists who made this line for girls with natural hair. 
It's literally the only shampoo that didn't leave my hair matted and feeling dry after using it when I was natural. Before I found this shampoo, I basically was just co-washing my hair with a cleansing conditioner because it was a nightmare whenever I tried to use any shampoo. So this is absolutely my favorite. I used to use their conditioner too, but that little 8 ounce container wasn't doing it for me, y'all. <laughs> I ran out of it so quick. Aussie is 26 ounces for basically the same price, so once I got the Gina Curl, I decided to just stick with Aussie, even though I like the Pantene Gold Series conditioner too. So I first like to scrub the shampoo into my scalp using my fingertips and give myself a good scalp massage and stimulate some blood flow. You don't want to use your fingernails or scratch your scalp all up. Then I like to add a little more down the shaft of my hair before rinsing it all out. I make sure I rinse out everything really well before moving on to the next step. After shampooing, I go in and add some of my TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. TGIN is a black owned beauty brand so we love that. My friends recommended this product to me and I'm really happy that they did because it works really great on my hair. It has raw honey and olive oil and the label says it's an intense deep penetrating conditioner for dry, damaged, and color treated hair. It's really important to deep condition your hair. Now I try to deep condition once a week. When I was natural, I couldn't keep up with that because after spending hours on wash day, your girl was too lazy and too tired to leave the shower and then have to go back in an hour later to rinse the deep conditioner out. After getting out of the shower, I didn't want to see water for the rest of the day. But yeah, I recommend whether you're natural or not natural to try and deep condition your hair once a week. And now I'm just going to clip my hair up while I take a shower. So this is what my hair is looking like. I do not rinse the deep conditioner out yet. This next step is super important. I'm going to clip my hair back up and then I'm going to put a plastic bag that I got from the grocery store over my hair and secure it in the back with a hair tie. After that, I like to add a shower cap on top of that and I do this because deep conditioners work best when they have some type of heat added to them. So if you have a hair dryer, you can just sit under that so that the deep conditioner can fully penetrate your hair. But I don't have one so I just like to add the plastic bag and shower cap for extra heat and I leave the deep conditioner on my hair for an hour. This is what my hair is looking like one hour later. I then went back in the shower and rinsed out the deep conditioner. So now that I've finished washing my hair, I'm just going to show you guys how I style my hair and get my curls popping. Basically the only product that I use to bring my curls to life is Cantu's Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. This is a thick leave-in conditioner, which is why I like it. It keeps my hair feeling moisturized and defined without having to add any gel or anything like that. I used to use Paul Mitchell's leave-in conditioner after I washed my hair, but I feel like it was a little bit too light. After wash day, I needed something a bit heavier that I know would keep my hair moisturized for longer. The best method for me is to add this to my hair in sections to make sure all of the strands are getting coated. I start at the back of my hair and I like to add some of the leave-in to the tips of the hair, then to the roots, then to the rest of my hair. You definitely want to make sure you're adding enough to your ends because that's the oldest part and the part that is most likely to break off. So one of my tips for people who want to grow longer hair is to make sure you keep those ends nice and moisturized. I'm a little light-handed at first with the product, but I did end up going back and adding some more later on. After adding my leave-in, I go in and add some argan oil. I like to put some in my hand then squeeze it into my ends to seal in all that moisture. So at this point, I noticed that my roots for some reason were feeling a little dry and they just weren't feeling the way I wanted them to feel. Probably because I was being light-handed with the leave-in earlier. So I actually went back in with my spray bottle and added some water to my roots and then I added some more can too. It's weird because with this Gina Curl, the roots tend to be the driest part of my hair as opposed to my ends. So it's kind of backwards because I thought my ends would feel dry after getting a chemical treatment but that hasn't been the case. Then I just like to flip my hair over and scrunch some more. I've basically been scrunching all throughout this video, even when I was in the shower. I don't know why I scrunch so much, I, it's just instinct at this point, I guess. Also like to make sure that the part at the back of my hair doesn't stay there, so I just try to separate that out with my hands. 
Okay guys, this is what my hair is looking like after the shower and after putting in the Cantu and Argan oil. I will come back in a few hours and show you the final results when it's dry. This is the final look. Unfortunately, I know I said I would come when my hair is completely dry, but it's taking too long and I have to go. So, and I know I'm not gonna feel like recording later, so I'm just gonna do this now. It's mostly dry though. I would say it's like 95% dry. The only thing that's still damp is my roots and then more so in the back, but it's mostly dry. And this is what it's looking like. I'm, I think this is my best wash and go yet, to be honest. If you compare this to my last video where I showed you how I wrap my hair at night, it was a little bit more flat, but this one is a little bit bigger because I used less product during this wash and go than I did in that video. So I think I like it with less product because it makes my hair a little bit more bigger. So this is my results and all I did was my edges and then just do this headband on, you know, I like to do that. This is what I used on my edges. If anybody is interested, I highly recommend I use this when I was natural. I am continue to use this. This is the best. It lasts a really long time. So go copy this if you need your edges to be slay or fleek. All of the other products that I used, I'll leave in the description box. But yeah, I'm just going to show you what it's looking like. This part is still a little bit damp, but it will dry, I'm sure, pretty soon. But yeah, this is my hair. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know in the comments what questions you guys have so I can do a FAQ and answer any underlying questions based on the other videos I've done that I have not answered yet. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.